Zoom Room, everybody. Um, fun name, a lot of uh, interesting stuff we're going to be doing on here. I'm going to be handing this over to Russ. It is uh, Russ's uh, group, but I just wanted to say, hey, thanks everybody for jumping on and giving this a, a go. The, the goal here is to get a little bit of information and ultimately to set yourself some goals uh, for this week based on the topic and go, hey, what, do I, what can I do this week to accomplish something within this topic uh, and, and set myself up for the week? So, at any rate, Russ, uh, off to you, my friend. Thank you very much. I am going to mute myself. All right. Thank you, Tay. Uh, good morning, everyone. For those of you who I have not met yet, I'm Russ Lassard. I'm the sales manager at the West Seattle office. And I want to say I hope everyone's staying healthy, safe, and most importantly, staying sane <laughs> during these times. Today, we're going to talk about um, how are you using videos uh, to market yourself and uh, connect with, with clients. Uh, we'll have a, a couple guest speakers today. Uh, one is Samantha Tesson from our Burian office. The other is Jesse Cervantes from the Burian office as well. And they're gonna share how they use video to connect with their audience. Uh, one other person we're gonna have speak as well is uh, Kaya Sewald, the office administrator from the West Yale office on how to use Videolicious which is available to all the agents in Berkshire Hathaway uh, for free. So before COVID-19, video was already becoming more and more popular in real estate marketing. Uh, we, we have designated areas in both the West Seattle office and the Burien office for agents to use to take videos of themselves. And I, I noticed that both of those Bots probably weren't being utilized as much as they should, but I'm sure after um, this is done and we're back in the office, uh, we'll probably see a lot more agents using those uh, those rooms and areas uh, to promote themselves. Uh, video is is not going away; it's it, it's going to be here to stay, and those who are willing to adapt to video are going to be the ones who are going to. Uh, have their business grow more for them. Uh, sure, you can you cannot use video as much saying, hey, my, my business is fine. I, I'm getting all these referrals from your current customers, but still video is an opportunity to grow your business from where you're currently at. And what I'm seeing is basically, or what I'm observing with, with people and this quarantine uh, four things I'm noticing is one, people are creating more videos for the business. If they were already making videos, now they're making even more videos. Two, I'm seeing um, people make videos for the first time. Those who they've never made videos before, they're out there making videos. Three, you're seeing par people participate in videos, whether it's video meetings or, or video groups. And if you're not part of those three, you're definitely number four, and that's you're viewing more videos. So if you're currently posting videos, I'm sure you're seeing an uptick in the amount of people who are seeing your videos. So if you've never posted a video of yourself talking, now, now is the perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, I, I don't think you, you can fail at it because there's so many people out there making videos for the first time it doesn't have to look professional. Most important thing is done is better than perfect. Put something out there. Uh, put it out there in, in stories. It's only out there for 24 hours. If you're not familiar with stories, um, stories is something that's on Instagram and Facebook where you're posting a short 30 second, um, 60 second video, and then it's gone after 24 hours. So you don't have to worry about it being out there forever. Um, other thing, um, just post something simple. Um, just state, uh, I hope everyone's staying home, is staying home, staying safe. I miss you all. I can't wait to connect with you soon. Video something short like that is, is very positive and it, it's, it's a way to connect with your clients or an audience as well. The most important thing is, is staying connected. Uh, other thing, um, create something, if you're, Unsure of yourself, uh, but not confident, create something, send it to a friend or a colleague, 
sent it to myself or Tay or Nalani in the Buring office, just send us a video. Try it for the first time. Ask us what we think of it. You know what? It, it, it's going to turn out fine, but just get that first video out of the way so you can bec become more comfortable with it. Just try it. Um, so I'd like to, at, at this point, uh, introduce uh, Jesse, or sorry, Samantha Tesson from our Beering office. Um, she's on Instagram, Facebook, but her handle on Instagram is Samantha Tesson Realtor. So look her up and you'll be able to see some of the, the videos she's doing uh, to connect with her clients and videos as well. Samantha, I'd like to turn it over to you now. Unmute. Okay. Okay. There I am. There we go. Okay. Hey, everybody. So, um, Russ asked me to talk about a few things. One of them is why I do video. And the big reason why I do video is because it reminds everyone watching that I'm in real estate. You know, it's kind of like handing out your business card. Um, I do a lot on stories and on my feed, but for example, on my stories, I have about 40, sometimes 150 people watching my stories every time I post something. Um, and I get way more interaction, people asking questions, commenting on um, what I'm doing. And it's, you know, I have, I have two pages. I have my personal and my business, and I'm predominantly active on my business page, and that's what everybody's watching. So, yeah, I get way more um, engagement with people versus if I post an article or even a picture. Definitely the videos get um, people communicating with me more. Um, yeah, and then I, just from that, just being on Zoom calls and doing virtual happy hours, um, just constantly dripping on my stories and, my, and on my feed, people are asking me questions about real estate when I go to parties, um, knowing other people are agents as well, but they come to me just because they're constantly reminded um, that I'm in real estate just by posting stories. Um, my style is pretty 80-20, so it's 80% business, um, things like showing myself at an inspection, um, taking clients out, just random thoughts, um, and then the, the other 20% is my family. So people aren't just flooded with real estate, they're, they get to know me. And the reason why I show my family and, and doing silly things or even just out at dinner or food or cooking is because um, I read that it builds familiarity. So when people see me doing things that they like, it kind of builds that trust. So if we haven't met before, or we haven't seen each other in a long time, um, they feel like they know me just by watching videos. And I've had that happen where, you know, because I, I follow different realtors on Instagram, and I feel like I know them just by watching their videos constantly. So um, it kind of creates a it, it's cool. They feel like they know me. They're, they're more comfortable when we meet in person because they already know what I sound like. They already know how I talk. They already know how I interact. It's not like a brand new meeting. Um, yeah. So some videos that I've done recently, I've done a introduction to my family, just kind of showing um, who, who are my people. Um, I've done a Zoom call, a recorded Zoom call and posted it on Facebook with a lender talking about forbearance. Um, I did a video talking about getting pre-approved and, and then I do a lot of property walkthroughs, um, just showing my listings or showing um, another realtor's listing. And yeah, those get a lot of comments. Um, some of the successes I've had from video is I've had an old middle school friend that moved from Hawaii, where I'm originally from, to Seattle. And so she reached out because she's constantly seeing my stuff. And then when she moved here, I was able to help her find a place. Um, I had two moms that I don't talk to a lot at my son's new school reach out to me because we became friends on Instagram and Facebook and they saw that I was in real estate. So, you know, we just see each other in passing and now they've come up to me and asked me for opinions on different things and what I thought. And then I even had just recently, I, my last video I posted, um, a past client from a year ago who never left me a review, left me a great review on my Facebook page just by watching a video I just did. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So yeah, anything else for us? Uh, oh, one thing I, I, on your uh, um, video feeds as well, I noticed something, um, IGTV. 
could you speak about IGTV and what that is? Yeah, so IGTV is an app. It's basically Instagram's response to YouTube. You can post up to hour long videos um, on there. So you download that app, you upload your video or record a video, and then it posts it posts to your Instagram and to your Facebook. So it's, it's kind of nice. It just shoots it all out to all your platforms. Um, and then on your Instagram, it, you're able to have just like a, I think it's like a 30 second to a minute clip. So it's just kind of, they call it a preview and then you can pick your own cover. So it's nice. You can make an hour long videos. It's pretty cool. I use it. I use IGTV. So, so the difference with IGTV and just a standard video on let's say Instagram is with the IGTV, you can go beyond that, that one minute clip. Is that correct? Yeah, you can do the longer videos. So if you're looking at posting longer videos, download the IGTV app to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. Hey, Samantha. Hi. Hi. Or Joseph from my Seattle office. What's your favorite uh, video editing software? So, I don't do a lot of editing and it was so I so, so since I have been doing a lot of video a, a videographer actually just reached out to me to do some co-marketing so he's been editing my videos for free if I share his information uh -huh. um, but I do have two apps that I like that definitely help uh, make posting easier one is preview because you can upload all of your videos and post if you want to do them for the month Mm -hmm. And then you can schedule the postings. Um, and then another app I like is this app called Big View. Um, that one you can do quite a bit of video editing on there. You can add titles and um, your phone number. But what's really cool is it acts as like a teleprompter as well. So if you pull an article from Keeping Current Matters or something Russ and Alani pull out um, uh -huh. or put out, you can upload that article and then just read it wow. while you're recording. So, because oh, big view, some, big view, yeah, it's awesome. It's made because I do fifty takes before I end up posting something, yeah. and since I had that app, it's made things way easier. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, real quick, sorry to interrupt, uh, Barb. Shortly, I'll go over another app that Berkshire actually pr uh, um, provides you with. Yeah. Um. So in like ten minutes, I'll go over Videolicious okay. as well. Cool. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Kaya. Oh, and I can show you what Big View looks crap. So this is, I don't know if you can see it. Big View. It looks like that when you go to the App Store. Great, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Samantha. Yeah. Also, from the Burien office, we have Jesse Cervantes. Um, Jesse, she goes by Real Estate Just 206 on her Instagram page. <laughs> and she does a lot of videos uh, as well that are very entertaining. So uh, Jesse, um, let's hear what you have to say about what you do for videos. Hey guys, um, so my videos are more like, so I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I've been at the Red Eye Espresso for 10 years and my whole thing is talking. So that's all I do all the time is just talking. And so with this shutdown, um, I've been secluded. Um, so I can't talk to anybody and I've been missing just asking questions or like, I don't know, trying to be involved in people's lives or anything like that. So, you know, Jeff told me that I needed to get a routine and that I need to like get up and like still get ready for the day. And I'm like, why? No one gets to see me. Like why? And I'm doing and um, so I was just like whatever all I need is a fancy shirt and that's it you know I can just wear pajama bottoms or something and so that's what I was doing and then I was like you know what I want to know what other people are wearing and so that's how I started with this whole work from home outfit um, but my my videos themselves are more um, super raw. Um, I don't, I don't take many takes at all. Um, for the most part, I just do a, a one and done shot. And so it's always like, I don't know. I think that's why, I don't know if you watch my videos, they're, they're not like, you know, structured, I guess. I'm usually just kind of all over the place. And I think I'm always all over the place. Um, but I've gotten a lot of, um, 
feedback, which I think I always have, um, just by asking questions or um, videos were hilarious, um, but I just kind of wanted to put myself out there for all my customers who I miss, um, that I'm still here and um, they can still talk to me. And so I get a lot of DMs back from um, just people that I, I talk to every day that I haven't been able to see. Um, but yeah, I just, that's, that's it. I think I am gonna continue with my videos um, only because um, people have told me that they enjoy my videos and it um, keeps them going. So they're always like, I can't wait to see what you're going to wear tomorrow. So, and I'm in no way like a fashionista or anything like that or a social media, anything. So, yeah. So quick question for you, Jesse, what, what was the inspiration for the, the work at home uh, outfit videos? Um, you know, my inspiration was just, I couldn't talk to anybody and I wanted to talk to people. And so that way people would interact back. And that's definitely what I got. I got, a, I still get a lot of people um, DMing me what I'm asking. So I'm asking them um, specific questions. Like, what are you wearing? Show me this, show me that. Um, you know, and I do add, um, I do add some real estate into some of my videos. Some of them are specific to real estate, but I don't, I feel like I don't want to crowd everybody with real estate. Um, I only have one Instagram myself, um, only because I think that's me all the time. That, that's who I am all the time. Um, you know, I have my dog on my business card because I love animals. I love my Labradoodle. And now I have two. Um, but of course, everybody would know that um, from just my videos or going on any of my pages. Um, I think so. That was my inspiration was just, I wanted to talk and I can't talk to anybody. And so I'm just going to post videos of myself and people are going to respond and uh, they, they are responding. So yeah, that's what I do. So would you say currently um, with the quarantine, are you getting more views and more interaction uh, with your audience than previously? Um. Well, yes. I mean, I wasn't doing too many videos of like what was going on in my actual day, um, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of reaction. So. Okay. I will continue to do videos. Um, and I think I'm just going to do more of a um, kind of be a resource. So kind of like, you know, I'm coffee. So I don't know, a little sip and tips or something. I don't know. Um, just something small and then keep the rest um, social, just raw and, you know, just kind of put in there that, you know, I, I do real estate, but also I'm this crazy person who is also stuck at home and, you know, I want to know what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Definitely uh, entertaining and relatable uh, videos. So I have a, a question you. for both uh, Samantha and, and Jesse. Uh, just because you both are consistent with your videos, what was it like to post your first video? Do you remember at all? Um, like my first video during were, quarantine? Were you, both, were, were you like, terrified? Did it come natural? No, so, mine was terrifying. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, I did, um, I think I did 50 takes of my first video because I'm hypercritical of myself, um, which we all are, you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, my hair's wrong. Oh, I, I made up a word, um, my chin. So, you know, you pick out all the things wrong with it. Um, so yeah, terrified is, it was good. And then once I put it out there, I realized it's not that bad. Cause like I said, everybody knows what you look like and what you sound like, but you definitely are for me anyways, the worst critic of myself. So uh, Kaya experienced yeah. that when she shot, told me how to do video delicious. Uh, she helped me record a few things and it took a took pretty long. <laughs> no. Aw. I'm kind I'm kind of the same. Um, 
where I hate my voice. So like I have a squeaky voice or I get super high pitch. Like I hate it. So I'm super animated and I talk with my hands. Usually I sit on my hands because I'm all over the place and I just want to, you know, be kind of crazy. And so I don't know. I, I was so afraid to do videos. So I'm like, ew, I hate my voice. It doesn't sound good. I sound like, I sound like a 12 year old. I don't know. Um, and you know, a couple of customers were like, well, you talk all the time. Like, what do you mean? Everyone already, like Samantha, like you're saying, everyone already knows what you sound like, you know, everyone knows what you look like just, you know, and so I decided that I was going to do open house videos. And, um, you know, so I'm telling my customers like, all right, watch my videos and tell me, you know, let, let me know. And so I have one specific guy, um, his name is Mike and he's always like, all right, I'm ready for your, your open house videos. And so, he'll let me know like if I did a good job or if I need to stop moving or, you know, so it's kind of fun. Um, and so it, that was nice first experience, but it was definitely, I was like, well, people are just going to make fun of my voice. And then I just got over it. So I kind of just let things go. Like I'm kind of a in the moment kind of person. So um, like I said, I, I, I don't do that many takes just because, I'm going to change everything. If I have that much time to have so many takes, everything is going to be changed and then it's not going to be what I express for it to be. I think if that makes sense, it probably doesn't. <laughs> Definitely makes sense. Um, no, th thank you for uh, sharing both of you. And that's the key. Uh, just get that first one done and out of the way, even if this is just a short hello, short 30 second video or even live videos. Uh, live videos, you might not have a, a big audience when you first start out with a live video, even if the live video is only a minute, but it is going to help you gain that confidence to do videos and, and be uh, uh, confident within yourself. Um, you so Rev, also, um, I follow like four different realtors in different markets that do videos. And um, what I do too is I I, I don't steal it, but I just do what they're doing. So I, you know, um, I can send some realtors that are very like tech enabled or do really great videos, but just kind of copy what they're doing. And that's how I got started. Um, like with this video library I'm creating, talking about first time home buyers, a lot of these um, agents that are, I mean, they're kind of compass agents, but um, you can just copy what they do. It's like R and D it. So, and make it your, I mean, make it your own, but at least you have an idea of where to start if you don't know where to start. Inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and, and because they're in a different market, it's less likely that they're going to see that you're copying them. Yeah, and I even, them, I mean, Boatsman, she's a great one. This lady, Tia DiCarlo, and I even said, like, hey, I'm going to recreate your video. And they're like, yeah, go for it. It's, I mean, that's why they put it out there. It's the best form of flattery is, you know, someone copying you. So, imitation. Imitation, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Great. Anyone uh, have any questions for Samantha or Jesse? I don't, I don't have a question, but I, I would like to jump in real quick with a clarification. I know a lot of people have asked me about, you know, uh, do, what, doing walkthroughs of other people's, uh, of listings, right? And then posting those, hey, here's a house for sale on, you know, Walnut and West Seattle and, and walking through the home. And just remember, you, you can do that and you should be doing that for your listings. But if you're going to do something like that for somebody else's listings, you need to get uh, written permission from them to do that. So you'll want at least an email confirming from the other agent that you can do that. Otherwise, it's marketing somebody else's listing and it's completely, um, yeah, it wouldn't be, wouldn't, wouldn't be within the MLS rules. So be careful on that uh, if, you're, if you want to do walkthroughs. Now, you can also, though, you could go from somebody else's listing and you could have video, you could run video uh, with the house behind you, just the outside of the house uh, would be fine from like the street side or uh, from inside the house, you could like from their deck or something like that, there's a great view behind you. You could be like, hey, I'm at such and such an address and show the view behind you. Uh, but it's the interior of the house uh, that if it's not your listing, you've got to make sure you have permission on. I've been asked that a lot of times. So I just wanted to mention that because it's a, a cool tool. Anytime you can walk through a house uh, and get video, I think it's a great thing to post. No, absolutely. Any other quick questions before we move on? Okay, a, a couple of um, pointers I want to um, talk about is uh, types of videos to, to consider. So one can be an introduction video. 
So it can either be introducing yourself or introducing your team. Uh, one thing that's great about an introduction video is if someone were to reach out to you after viewing your introduction video, they're already comfortable with you. So that, that's a, definitely a great sign. So if you can get someone to contact you from an introduction video, you've already made that connection with them. Uh, another one is just listed videos. Uh, take videos of, of your new listing, you know, put it out there, promote that listing and promote yourself. Uh, three uh, videos for Instagram, uh, Facebook stories, live streams, uh, another great way to uh, have a video out there. Uh, one I'm seeing more and more right now is uh, community or local business highlights and reviews. I'm seeing a lot of videos uh, showing support for small businesses. So if you're going out and grabbing uh, coffee, I've seen a lot of people going to Empire Coffee, one of our agent owned uh, coffee shops, posting uh, videos of making purchases there. Anywhere, uh, now's a great time to uh, highlight a small company to, to patronize. You know, post that video, add, add them to your hashtag or their Instagram account, add them, and you're gonna get more people looking at you and you're gonna get that business thanking you as well and maybe mentioning yourself. Um, Samantha just, just mentioned educational videos. So you can give educational videos on uh, staging advice, uh, process of buying a home. You know, you can talk about earnest money or, or escrow. Um, when speaking with Samantha, she had planned on putting together a library of educational videos so she can just send it to her clients. And with those videos, she can send it to multiple clients. If she has a, a video on the escrow process, she can use that video for multiple clients. Um, another video to consider is testimonials. So have your clients do a testimonial video. This is giving you social proof. You know, it's proving that you're a, a good agent, a great agent, and why people should work with you. It, uh, these testimonial videos would be similar to create a, a, a Yelp review. So if you're looking for a good restaurant to eat at, what do a lot of people do? They Yelp it and see what the reviews are. So as an agent, if you already have reviews out there, talking about your services and how great it, they are, it's gonna make more people comfortable with contacting you and using you as their agent. Another idea is for videos is market updates. So you can offer local uh, national market updates. Berkshire Hathaway sends out a, a monthly video for a, a market update. Feel free to use that. Add some video commentary onto that. Uh, we do have market snapshots, which come out weekly, and you can find that in the, the back end of your website, and that comes out every Monday. Another place for stats is uh, Northwest MLS, InfoSparks. John Wynn puts out a, a, a great uh, informational one on stats uh, at least once a month. Uh, look at John uh, Wynn's Instagram site. And another great place for statistics is NAR. And you can create videos, just have the stats in front of you and, and talk about those stats in your video. So those are a few things to, to think about, to be creative when connecting with your, your clients or, or your audience. So now I'd, I'd like to have uh, Kaya Seawald speak. Uh, Kaya is our office administrator in the West Yale office, and she's gonna talk a, a little bit about uh, the Videolicious app. So Kaya, I'll hand it off to you. Thanks, Russ. Hi, everybody. Um, I just wanna tell you a bit about the Videolicious app. Um, it's a fast and easy way to make videos. And uh, now more than ever, Video and mobile are really important elements in any real estate marketing. Um, this is why Berkshire Hathaway teamed up with Videolicious and provides this to you for free. And it's really easy um, to download at the very end. I'm gonna uh, show you how to do that. Um, but why is Videolicious better than just recording video on your standard cell phone? Um, the app creates more professional and sophisticated videos effortlessly, really. Um, it's all automatic, fast, uh, easy video creation. Anyone can do it. It's fully mobile, so you can uh, do it 
from anywhere um, and create engaging high quality videos this way. It um, adds effects such as music, which uh, recognizes your voice and the volume uh, you know, gets lower as you're speaking. And when you're not speaking, the volume increases. So it's really nice. Um, and you can also choose what music is playing in the background. Another cool feature is the branding. Um, it has scripts, just like Samantha was saying on the uh, other app. It also has kind of a teleprompter uh, where you can read off what you're saying and write it in there before you record. Um, it has the logos. You can put your you know, team logo or personal logo as well. Um, and also they provide awesome customer service for free so they can help you really put together exactly what you want. And of course, I'm always here to help you with that as well. Go ahead, Russ, were you gonna say something? <laughs> no, uh, so Kaya will have a, a printout as well with the instructions on how to download uh, the Video Alicious app as well. And we'll send that out um, after today's meeting. So definitely uh, check it out, download it and play with it. Uh, there's some cool features on that where the Berkshire Hathaway logo will come out at the beginning of your video. And Kai is mentioning that you can also put in your own uh, logo in there as well. So you're branding yourself as well as Berkshire Hathaway. Yes. And what, what are the, some of the other differences between using Videolicious versus using the own, your own video from your, your own cell phone? That's, uh, you know, it's also um, compatible with other marketing resource materials. I guess that's really the thing that, you know, separates it from the other apps. Um, you can use any graphics um, and, you know, um, other materials that you want to pull from there. And the app works with the resource center. Um, it just makes it really simple. Uh, you can directly send the videos you create from the app, uh, you know, to your clients via text or email. You can also directly post to social media. So it's endless what you can do with these videos. Okay, and, and what is the cost for Videolicious? The cost is nothing, zero. So that is free. That's something that's being provided by Berkshire Hathaway. So definitely take a look at it and uh, take advantage of it if you can find that useful. Yes. No. Thank you, Kaya. So any questions for anyone? I, I see we have a, a few in the group chat. Um, one is uh, how often are, are you posting videos? Uh, I see that it's both Samantha and Jess re responded uh, pretty much daily, which is the truth. I've gone through the, and looked at their feeds and they're posting a video pretty much every day and with just a few gaps in between. So definitely uh, consistency helps and it helps to gain followers as well because they're looking for that, that next video to come out. So um, on Videolicious, is, there, um, is the app through our, our uh, back page or how do you get the app? Yes, I'm going to send full instructions right after this meeting um, in a PDF. But you know what, uh, Russ, should I share my screen and kind of... Um... Sure, that would be great. Okay. If once I share my screen, if you want to see me as the main page, just hover over my picture or video and um, the three little dots, if you click on that, it should say pin video and then you should see it, you know, larger. Okay, here we go. So basically, um, you do this from resource center, but I know you're all used to doing this through the back end of your website. Um, so through agent access, you're going to go to the back end over here. And then uh, if you scroll down, there is a BHHS Resource Center uh, purple square. If you click on that, sign into your Resource Center. Um, that's how you get there. Click on Marketing Resource. And again, if you're not following along, I will have... Uh, 
full instructions sent to you shortly. So click marketing resources. And then you should have a little uh, button here that says video creation. If you click that video creation button, um, it's basically, basically going to have you uh, put in a password. It will automatically have your email in there. You're going to create an account and it's going to send you an email to download the app on your phone. And then you're going to put that password that you set up. Uh, right in your phone and you're good to go. Um, all the videos you create will show up and stay there, you know, as a list, you can keep editing them in the future. Um, it's really, really simple. You just have to go to resource center, marketing resource, video creation. And then um, from there, it's easy sailing. Can we um, send them out from there, Kaya? Because I know sometimes I'll make a video and it's too long, so I have to upload it to YouTube to link it. Yes, you can send it directly from there, uh, and you have all kinds of options for that. Uh, text, email, social media. I think there are even more options. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me see how to stop sharing my screen. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Thank you for going through that, Kaya. Of course. Any other questions from anyone? Let's see. One from Ryan Manning. Um, reviews for Android don't look great, but good on iPhone. Anyone using it on Android? Anyone using Videolicious on Android? The answer is no. So one thing before we, before we wrap up, um, if everyone could, let's say you're using video or not using video, in the group chat, put put down your goal, S set a goal for for the next week to do something with video. So add that to the group chat area. And one other thing, it also add your Instagram page or your Facebook page for uh, your fellow agents to follow you. So we can follow and see what everyone's doing as far as videos uh, on their social media. So feel free to type in your handle as well. I'll type in mine now. Be for IG. That's for Instagram. Just gotta figure out how to send it. There we go. Can I throw my Instagram name out there? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, absolutely, yeah. Yes. No, I'm just, I'm totally joking. Okay, I'll ask for it later. My real estate page is pretty new. You may, uh, you'll have a bunch of better options. <laughs> I don't have a real estate Instagram page yet, so probably not. Okay, I'll put in my, I'm gonna put in my goal as well. So for me, it's uh, sending out a, a, a video with me in it. Usually, I'm one of those people who are, are camera shy. I'll, I'll take the video, but I'll never be in it. So, so my goal for this week is to take a video with me talking, my face on it, and, and post it. So that is my goal for the week. I do more videos, all right, like that.
right, nice seeing everyone's pages there. Okay, if there's no further questions, I think we'll we'll wrap this up. Any last minute questions, anyone? Uh, stay. Can, can you take the mute off, Tay, for everyone? Um, I I can. I think I've got to go through and unmute everybody independently. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to. Okay. But they can unmute themselves too. Yeah, feel free to unmute yourself if you have a question. Now, as everybody is thinking about what their uh, what their plans might be, and, and some folks are jumping off, just I would challenge everybody to to uh, set up their video licious. I mean, I, there's no reason not to get that set up. Thank you, Samantha, Jesse, and Kaya. That was really good. And Russ for running the whole thing. Yeah, no. Good job, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And uh, I, I guess that that's a wrap. I'll stay on for a couple couple more seconds and enjoy your day. Stay safe, everyone. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you, Tate. Thanks, Kaya. <laughs>